Hey guys, Dinsy here and you're watching Ave Bad TV. We're gonna check out Burly Manetsy. Came out yesterday on Steam, the 29th of September. And by the looks of it, it's some kind of narrative adventure. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. We shall figure it out. I don't understand what's going on. Oh. Oh, what's this? It was one of the fishermen. Some kind of rubbish in the nets. Wait a second. Wait a few. Raid game is open the same page. Um, any other settings? I guess not. Let's continue then. What the hell? The treasure map. Useless sea chart. Grimos the nasty one, the hasty one. Nothing on it but our own island. A map cast to sea without purpose? Must be more to it, argues the steady one. The brave one brightens. A mystery, aye. I wish I had the... Burly man voice. Oh, in the village may know something of it. We should head back. I know there are different endings. I guess let's check it out. So the three burly men, so we have uh, the steady one, the brave one, and the angry one. What those? Man, I see beards. How do we move? What's the No. That music. Man, they are burly. Brave beard. Paddles over to the chewing cow. You wouldn't know anything about mysterious map, would you, old girl? He pretends not to wait for an answer. <laughs> yeah. We came to the wrong barn. Yo, bro, you know something? It's like a flash game. A sea chart, eh? The young man shrugs. Can't say I know much about them, with these landlocked legs of mine. <laughs> also, your next door in the coffee shop might have answers. Okay, to the coffee shop we go. It doesn't look like a coffee shop. Let's check it out. Looks like a secret. Man, he has a beard too. Hello, old man. Yeah, I'll be wanting a drink. Drink? It's in the seat by the fire, I expect. The man casts a dubious glance at the tiny stools before complying with a shrug. Behind him proceeds a friendly, what of mechanical sounds. What's he doing? That's the cafe. A coffee. The old man approaches with a steaming tray. Bingo Origin Espresso. Roast it myself, he declares. They stare blankly, they don't give a fuck. Coffee, relaxing, the man sip cautiously, eyes widen. Now, what you found? He chuckles at their stunned faces. Observation, that's all, folks. Come in with questions, and yours is plainly wrote in your hand. Teddy Beers grins, aye. Then you are the man we want to see. He knows the parchment between them. Holy and in. The old man deliberates from a moment before speaking. Hmm. Seems what you have here is a variety of map that brings about adventurous deeds and heroic feats. Aye, brave beard leaps from his suit and pouts Teddy Beard on the back. But there is nothing on it, remarks Hasty Beard flatly, eyeing the old man down. Don't see any eyes. The old man grins in his skeptical look. At his skeptical look. Aye. It's a worldwide adventure that begins with the unknown. This map has tales yet to tell. Bring it to the fire, maybe there's a hidden ink or something. He turns to walk away. Hold there. What sort of tales? calls Brave Beard. That depends, replies the old man. I thought so you choose. He crosses the room, disappearing through a doorway behind the counter. The one doesn't give a fuck. 
<laughs> it's a bit of awkwardly neat and yes, we'll be going then. Uh, thanks for the espresso. Suppresso. <laughs> he tries, so there is no answer. It's so white, I can see the door. Maybe we should have checked the books. Like made for mobile, I need to click and hold. That's the scene that direction, so let's move here. I have the, that brat over there. We can ignore him, then we have here. What's in the in the yellow house? Bakery. Oh yeah. Somebody's making sounds with their mouth. If it isn't the brother's beard, what can I do for you, fellas? The beard pretends to prepare to speak, but the question is intercepted by Hasty Beard. Know anything about adventurous deeds, heroic feats, maps? That's by Beard. Mystery? The O shaped woman continues working silently for a moment, then pauses to look up. Mystery, is it? Alright, I'm not the imaginative type, boys. We are old friends. The ordinary and I. She concludes it, turning to her work. Damn it. Yes, we should go and see and explore shit. The burly man, the three beard bar brothers. What? It's definitely Ching. sound made effects. Ching. I mean, Ching. mouth made effects. Ching, Ching. yeah. The man glances up their approach. Then it turns to his work Ching. with a grunt. I mean, not Ching. these dudes again. Ching. Might if we interrupt you for a moment? Shouts, Ching. Teddy Beard. Ching. We found this map in Arnett this morning and... Ching. And do you happen Ching. to know anything about the unknown? Ching. Or heroic feats and tales and such? Ching. Ching. There's a brief pause as the man stops, stops hammering. He grunts. They wait. It appears he has nothing further to add. Nice to do, bro. Let's go. Let him do his chink over there. A house with no shit. I guess we need to set sail for fail and be on our adventure. Here we go, set sail. And there they go. On a merry way. By the way, the game is capped at 30 FPS. Just FYI. Which makes it more and more on browser slash flash game. The rats. What do you reckon they're after? I don't like it. Has the feel of mischief about it. And probably some corpses floating there. Mischief away. Losing the sails. Okay. Oh shit. What the? And just like that, Moby Dick become reality. Damn. It's dark inside the well, but the men appear to be intact. You know, no shit. A flickering ring of firelight cuts into the darkness before them. Oh, I can't even imagine what it smells like. Wait a second. Are those girls? Are you kidding me? Are there ghosts? Join us, friends. Or when did you come? Asked the one of the nymphs. Oh, they are nymphs. Oh yeah, then look, it's three to three. Is it gonna be an orgy? I can see it. We were sailing for adventure and heroic feats when the colossal whale feather scooped us up. <laughs> it's really very discouraging. A man can properly have an adventure at sea indoors. That's brave beard. Become a friend. Imagine the wave. Become the wave. 
advise the second nymph. The others exchange mellow glances, nodding approval. Can't say if all the sentiment in that remark, commands Hasty Beard. But if you advise us how to hop off this vessel, we'll be on our way. And do what swim? The great one bring us to a place we could not go ourselves. But those unwilling may depart to the fountain of the faithless. As the new gesturing sadly toward what appears to be a hatch. The fountain of the faithless is gonna be like shoot it out of the whale. And our ship, she can't fit through that. Fear not, once the great one, barnacled one, whatever, barnacled one, reaches the place of promise, he will open wide the gate that all may go out as they came in. Why do we escape with no ship or wait for the creature to open his maw? The nymphs not grandly. Time falls quickly in contemption of the great one's splendor. He who chose the path of waiting is welcome here by the fire. Bravebeard's face shows alarm. I think we'd uh, prefer to look around first. The nymphs begin to sway. But always darkness builds in the circle of the great one's love. We must first seek the enlightenment of... Found it! <laughs> Grabbing a torch of, from the fire before them. Okay then, let's go. I wish I could stay with the nymphs. How would we go away? Okay. Should we set fail for fail? Oi, 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 oi. I like how this thing. The man fidged for a moment as Steady Beard clears his throat. If you don't mind our intrusion, we'll wait here with you fellas. See it, friends. For those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. Aye, that's plain. The three men sit. They silence and then slowly begin to undress. Wow, the burly men were dressing them with their eyes, but I mean, that's not written here. Within the Great One, there is only to be. The Great One encircles us in the circle of all things. The Great One's kindness is us. Oh shit. Genetically modified potatoes. The men begin to nod off, now catching only pieces of non-sexual non exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Wow. Biodiversity. What the hell? What have genetically modified potatoes to do with it? Final exit. Please exit through the front of my jaw. Damn. That's a big ass whale. It wasn't white though. <laughs> Those long haired imps let us sleep through a stop. Through a stop. When will the game become something else than just a predetermined narrative? That's my question. When will I have chance to choose something? Wow, eh? I guess on the beach somewhere. We are no longer at sea, but we're still burly men. And they export. But there was nothing here. Oh shit! Oh no, what is this? Great lumping land rats! exclaims Bravebeard, edging away. Stop! The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rocks stand staring at one another. Suddenly, a hot liquid starts floating and like making. And I fell with my shit to die. Moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naivete of these statements seems to ease the man. You rather, you rather watch yourself, tries Bravebeard hesitantly. Thank you. 
Rumble's a small mountain, simply. Would you like a flower? I'm quite good at flowers. Oh, we don't want to bother. In fact, the creature is already turning. I guess we should fall. Or maybe I will fetch three. Rumbling happily to itself, the geological oddity thunders away, and the man breathes sights of relief. So much for the adventure. Let's go after it. Still I don't get... How can we get different choices and stuff? I have done it! I have fetched a flower! The men turn directly from the enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Gently, the massive stone... Stone fist places before them what appears to be an upended tree. Wow. Why, thank you! Gish's hasty beard, a bowing, the snickering brave beard. What a nice flower! The big creature beams. The creature shoulders swamp, dejected. It has wilted. You know, I think I saw another on the far end of the island. The just teddy bit. Why don't you go? I will fetch it. Goes away. Okay, it is narrative adventure, or maybe three. <laughs> Quick, while we have a chance. And we go back to sea. For more adventure. Oh, pretty cool, but we're gonna cut here. Burly man at sea, I'm Dinksy, and you're watching Avibat TV. Write the video, follow the channel for more content. See you next game.